This is going to be experimental setup for experiment one, where you're looking at the thyroid phantom. So this here that you're looking at is the thyroid phantom. You can see a little bit of an air bubble in it, and we use that for mixing, so I've left that in there deliberately. So what we have is we have a couple of ports on one side that we unscrew, and when we unscrew those, we can then administer the radiopharmaceuticals. So what we'll do is we'll draw up into a syringe, uh, the equivalent of um, about 3.5% um, uptake in the thyroid phantom of 180 megabecquerel dose. So that's going to be about 6 uh, megabecks. And we'll uh, inject it into this port with some saline, mix it around with that air bubble, and then we'll remove the air bubble. So what you can see here is uh, fairly, and you can see my hand, it's actually fairly small, so it's about the size of a th um, thyroid, so the butterfly shape of the thyroid. And you can see four nodules, okay? One superimposed on that air bubble there. And you can see three of those nodules are designed to be um, essentially a hollow of activity. So they'll be cold. So it means that these, within the, the thickness of this, I'll see if I can see the thickness of this. So within the thickness of that, you can see the air bubble there. Then you've got activity distributing. But for these three nodules, the perspex goes all the way through. So it's a small cylinder, different sizes, as you can see. So it goes all the way through. So there'll be no activity there. Then this one here, and I'll just turn it over and show you the on the side view, is it actually is a partial um, thickness. So, so what it allows it to do is um, has uh, activity that drops into that. So this side, you'll see that there's two sides to this. This side is full thickness. You can see the air bubble goes the full thickness of the phantom. And so on this side, the activity goes all the way through. So this hole and this hole goes full thickness. On this side, if we look at the, the bubble, you can see the bubble only goes halfway through. So part of this is solid and part of it is hollow. So either way, that goes all the way through to create a cold nodule. But this one here, is actually partially hollow. You can see that it's dig, um, dug out. So on this side of the phantom, you can actually see when we flip it over, so that was, I flipped it. Um, so you'll end up with a bit of activity that fills it, so it creates a hot phantom. So you'll end up with half the radio pharmaceutical concentration as this side, which is the full thickness side. Nothing there, but where this is, because that is then a hole that goes all the way through the full thickness, then all of a sudden you'll end up with twice as much activity that goes through that part there. So it creates a hot spot there, and three cold spots. This side, so this side, uh, full thickness, so double the concentration. This side, half the thickness because there's a, a layer of perspex that bridges in there, and so it will be half the concentration with the exception of that hot nodule. So what we do, once we've filled that up, so we're going to presume that what we've done is put six megabex into the phantom, mixed it around, got rid of the air bubble. And then what we do is we bring it out to the gamma camera. And the idea is, is that we're actually going to scan it at zero centimetres. So we pop our um, phantom there. We're just using a, 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 a low density box there to be able to position it fairly close. And then what we do is uh, raise the bed up. So that, that is now touching. So you can see that that's now touching, so that's zero centimeters. So that's uh, what we want. So we're going to do an acquisition in 512 matrix for five minutes in that position um, and that will be your zero centimeter image. Then what we do is that after we've acquired that image, we take the gamma camera and and get a ruler. And slowly move it out. So that we're then we're then five centimeters. So now we've got a gap of five centimeters between the top of the phantom 
and the surface of the gamma camera. Uh, we'll take another image in that position and then we'll move it one further position so it's a bit further out again. So then we've got a 10 centimeter gap. So now we've got a 10 centimeter gap um, and we take another uh, image there. So the three images that you can see are with that camera uh, position 0, 5 and 10 centimeters from the phantom using that perspective. So I'll just uh, step back so you can actually see the overall positioning um, where the gamma camera sits rather than just the up close version of it and so you can see there that as you go in that uh, that's where the phantom will be sitting so I want you to diagrammatically represent that and then um, do all the calculations <laughs> 